Hey, it's Justine, and today we are in Catalina, and we are testing out the Apple Watch Ultra as a dive computer. Now, originally, I planned on coming to Catalina and getting my open water certification, but I went to the Maldives a month ago and ended up just doing it early. Now, this is an entirely different experience because this is diving in cold water, and in the Maldives, the water was 87 degrees. It was so warm. You didn't actually have to wear a wetsuit, but here, it's a little bit different, and there's so much more gear involved. So I've got this 7 millimeter super thick wetsuit. When I first got my ocean band, it was so large on my arm that I didn't actually understand the concept because I'd never dove or really ever worn a wetsuit before, is it needs to be large enough to be able to go over top of a thick wetsuit or even a thin wetsuit. And this wetsuit is actually so thick that I needed an extender. So the app that we're using is the Oceanic Plus app. Now there's an Apple Watch app and then there's a companion app that goes to your phone. So both of those will sync and work together. And there's also an Oceanic Apple Watch face, which is kind of cool because on here, it'll give you all of the things that you need. You've got your dive planner, okay to fly time, which is something that I didn't know, that you have to actually wait time between your dive before you can fly. It's got a bunch of other really cool features, but now, my friends, it's time to go hop in the water. So, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna do a little once over here of the gear. Since I've only basically dove like once in my life, I need a little refresher course. I am open water certified, but I want to know as much as I can at all times. So, all right, we've got all our gear. This is also all brand new. Yeah, no worries. So. It's your dial in. Oh, yeah. I don't remember all this part. Yeah, it's kind of important. Set up. I feel like a sausage, because like a sausage is inside of like a sausage casing. Like that's what I feel like right now. Okay. I got it. I gotta breathe. Everything's good. Let's hop in. Man, we just got back from the first dive in cold water for me, and it was well, it's freezing, but it took me a while to kind of get used to it. And once I got down there, though, everything was okay. My buoyancy haven't quite figured that out yet, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for the next dive. All right, dive briefing time. So I've got the Oceanic app up and we have our location planner. So since we're diving in Catalina. Yeah, we got our temperature, tide. Maybe on this dive we'll plan to go to about 50 feet. Aim for the swim platform. It's one of the reef wrecks in the park. So no deco planner. We just did a dive. So what is this kind of determined? Um, it's gonna tell us how long we can stay at our current depth for our next dive. At takes into account what we just did. And so we'll say, we'll enter the info, how long we're gonna stay on the surface until the next dive. And we'll add in the depth that we wanna to go to. And it'll tell us exactly how much we can do. All right, looks like we're ready yeah. to go out. It's like I got a plan, let's go get wet. Let's do it. Yeah.
So just finished my second dive of the day and my favorite part now of diving is getting out and seeing all of my stats. Seeing how far I've dove, seeing the depth, seeing the water temperature. And with the Oceanic Apple Watch app, it just automatically syncs to the iPhone app so I can go in and see all of this information. Here are my two dives today. So our first one, we went a max depth of 44 feet. Our next one, we went 53 feet. And it's cool because this shows you your depth. I was struggling on this first one, trying to get my buoyancy. We dove for 34 minutes. Water temperature, 58 degrees. Oh, so cold. That's where we are. So I can go in and add some things about the dive, like the visibility, the surface condition. There was a little bit of current. The visibility was not as good on this last dive as it was on the first one. And there we go. We are all logged for our dives today. time here in Catalina diving. Now, to catch some of you up who may not know, I was terrified of the water about a month and a half ago. I didn't even want to put my head underwater whenever I did the original Apple Watch review. And in that review, I said that the Apple Watch Ultra might be the thing to get me to be scuba certified. So now here we are on Catalina and the two days of diving that we did here was quite an experience. Coming from 87 degree, incredibly warm tropical weather where I was wearing a very small wetsuit, a little shorty, like basically nothing at all to here, where I would be wearing the equivalent of a snowsuit, definitely a whole new experience. I had incredible instructor Rain, like the weather, is his Instagram, <laughs> and he was so awesome. We did a little refresher course the first day and the first dive. A huge thank you to Oceanic for hooking it up with all of the gear. Now, Oceanic is actually the company that makes the Apple Watch app on the Apple Watch Ultra. So a huge thank you to them again for making this all happen and also giving me the confidence to be able to go out and do this in the first place. So to get to Catalina, we took the 6 a.m. ferry, so I got up at like 3.30, so that first day of diving, <laughs> we were all absolutely exhausted. 3.30 a.m. this morning, I did not feel like I'm having breakfast, so we got this on the ferry over. We met up with Nick, who works at Oceanic, and Rain, he walked me through all of the things that I needed to know. Now, I did learn everything that I needed to know to pass my certification, but getting this little refresher course on day one of all of my gear, all of the hand signals, everything that I needed to know to be safe in the water was definitely great to have the refresher, especially because I got all this new gear from Oceanic. So now being able to get familiar with gear that is my very own is such a huge difference. If it wasn't for the Apple Watch Ultra, I don't think that I would be diving. And I think that's the really cool thing is I feel like this is such an accessible device for a lot of people. Now, obviously you should always have a second dive computer. No matter what device you're using, you should always have a backup because anything can happen. I mean, you know, um, a shark could come up and just take this off of you and say, hey, that looks nice. I think I want to wear that now. So the first day of diving was a little sketchy. Uh, getting into the water, it was freaking freezing beyond anything that I could have prepared my body for. Now, I did have a seven mil wetsuit, so it was very thick. We saw lots of fish. I also thought that the Garibaldi was a goldfish but then I remembered that goldfish are freshwater fish and this is not freshwater and that in fact is the California state fish so that is probably something that I should know. I think my next investment is gonna be a little fish book so I can check off all the creatures that I've seen in the water. The really cool thing about diving in Catalina are these kelp forests. I mean this kelp is just so remarkable. I mean it's coming all the way from the bed of the sea to the top and it's just floating through there. It's such a cool feeling. The other cool thing is we saw this massive sea bass. We actually saw a bunch of them, but this shot right here, I got so startled because I did not even see him next to me. And I turned around, and I was like, oh, what are you doing there, buddy? We also saw a shark. Uh, I did not actually see the shark in person because I was so freezing and this was our last dive of the day and I was like guys I gotta go I'm, I'm actually shivering and I gotta peace out but Devin who's an incredible videographer he does so many amazing underwater shots that I'm so grateful that he was able to come on this shoot with me we got a really cool underwater housing for the Sony a7s3 and he went 
and got some really cool shots of the shark. Now the oceanic app is great for snorkeling as well. So if you're not a diver, you can actually use this to snorkel. You can track your entry points, your depth, and how far you swam. And that's actually just free with the oceanic app. But if you do want to dive and get access to your dive planning and tissue loading, there is a subscription, which is kind of great because for a lot of people who may not be frequent divers, the Apple Watch is great and you don't have to buy a full dedicated dive computer. You've already got one right here on your wrist. Now my second day of diving was so much more fun. I was so much more comfortable because the first day, that first dive, I was still getting used to the gear, figuring out my buoyancy. I thought I would be a lot more terrified than I was. It actually wasn't bad at all. I really thought that the cold water was gonna affect me more. I did get some cramping in my legs. My feet were just like feeling a little weird. Like my whole body just kind of felt different. And once I got used to that, it made the second day that much better. But we had so much fun and we saw so many cool things. And I think my favorite thing was this little Garibaldi who was building its little nest. And <laughs> anytime anything would get in its little area, it would go and pick it up and move it out immediately. It was actually really, really cute. Did a little exploring. I got to use Rain's flashlight and really see what I could see. My favorite thing that I saw though was this huge freaking lobster. I mean, look at this thing. It's massive. It's got a little tentacle out, like ready to come and get you. One of the things that I really like about this though is it gives you an alert when you need to make your safety stop. So it gives you a countdown of how long you need to stay at that depth before you completely ascend to the top. So if you find yourself at the surface and you need to go grab some weights or I don't know, you forgot something or you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> It will give you a countdown that will let you go back down to the surface and continue that dive. So you won't have to count it as a second dive. So right now we've got 27 seconds to hop back in. We're not going to be doing that just yet because I'm really chilly. I had so much fun on Catalina and I look forward to getting my sister dive certified so we can do some really fun diving trips. If you guys have any suggestions of some gear that I should get, some tech that I should check out, places that I should dive, animals that I need to be on the lookout for, any tips and tricks, please leave them in the comments below because I am right now, I'm like a sponge. I am taking in all of the information I am learning and I want to know it all. So thank you guys again for all of the tips that you did give me in my first video where I talked about this and I look forward to many, many more. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up for me conquering my fears. I think that I deserve it. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. Also be sure to hit the bell for notifications when I post new videos. And if you want to see any other ones, I'll put them here on the end screen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.